Silicon Quantum Dots have proven to be a remarkable platform for the development of quantum technology. They hold great potential for the development of large-scale quantum computers, in part because of their compatibility with silicon CMOS industrial processes. In our centre program, we're exploring how quantum dots can be deployed as an enabling technology for readout and quantum interconnects. So far, the results are impressive. In 2009, we isolated a single electron in a silicon CMOS quantum dot device for the first time. Then in 2014, we demonstrated that a silicon quantum dot could be operated as a high fidelity single qubit. And we followed that up in 2015 when we demonstrated the first two qubit logic gate in any silicon system. In 2018, we set a world record for the highest fidelity in a silicon quantum dot qubit. Our base technology uses a metal oxide semiconductor stack known as silicon MOS to confine a tiny quantum dot under a metal gate electrode. Our device designs are compatible with industry standard CMOS processing techniques, the same processes that make the chips in your phone and your laptop. And so they are prime candidates for scaling to the large volumes of qubits that will be required for universal fault tolerant quantum computation. Our quantum dot devices are typically operated with a single valence electron, creating a spin one-half system that can be operated as a qubit. When the quantum dots are operated with many electrons, they can be used as very sensitive electrometers to detect charge motion within the device and read out the spin of a nearby qubit. Recently, we demonstrated that we can controllably add individual electrons to a quantum dot to create artificial 2D atoms we were able to create the equivalence of hydrogen, lithium and sodium by drawing in more electrons into our quantum dots. This results in a much more reliable and controllable quantum system. In 2020, we showed that our quantum dot qubit devices with small number of electrons in each dot could operate at a temperature of 1.5 Kelvin and maintain high fidelity. This opens the possibility of simplifying the cryogenic setups for our devices significantly by allowing us to operate them without the need for expensive and complicated dilution refrigerators. The other major benefit of this is that at this temperature, we can maintain a steady temperature much easier even in the presence of other heat sources. This allows us the option of integrating classical CMOS electronics without disrupting the environment of the qubits. Moving towards medium or large scale quantum computer architectures, we need flexibility in the layout to be able to accommodate everything we need to control the silicon qubits. In order to provide flexibility, we're developing methods to connect qubits over long distances. In 2021, we published a paper reporting the experimental demonstration of shuttling, or moving an electron qubit between quantum dots without losing the crucial quantum information. Using this control technique, you can connect distant qubits by physically shuttling electrons along a line of quantum dots, opening up new possibilities for architectures and designs. We're also developing technology to couple distant qubits using an intermediate quantum dot to mediate the interaction, a so-called jelly bean quantum dot. The jelly bean is typically a larger quantum dot that can mediate two qubit exchange over larger distances than standard nearest neighbor approaches. Development of jelly bean quantum dots with 160 nanometer length are currently underway and we are expecting to extend the coupling range in the near future. Our quantum dot platform has proven to be a cornerstone in the development of silicon quantum technologies. These breakthroughs are helping us to develop large scale quantum computing which ultimately will unlock applications with global impact. Mm -hmm.